Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and I have decided for my locals community that I am going to start a series on the bells. And the reason why I decided to do a series on the bells for my locals community is because I don't actually own the bells. They're very expensive. They're a very expensive Montessori material. And I figure since I don't own the bells, the next best thing I can offer people is a look at my album and my specific lessons that I had to write for training. So I'm going to give you this nice behind the scenes look of my album and my actual lesson plans for those who sign up in my locals community. Now, if you're going through AMI training or you are an AMI teacher, you know how much we safeguard our albums and how often we actually let other people look at them. So this is a very protected thing that I'm sharing and I'm only sharing it with my locals community. It's not something I wanna put out there on YouTube, but I do wanna share it with those who have been supporting me on locals and wanting to learn more about the Montessori method. So I am gonna open up my album and you're gonna get a line by line run through of what this lesson looks like and actually there are many lessons when it comes to the bells. So it's probably gonna take a few different videos to get all the way through them because I don't wanna do a ton at once, but we'll take it little by little and just maybe do one or two lessons at a time on the bells. And I'm thinking that I would like to start this maybe in January. So there's a little bit of time to sign up. You can go over to my locals community and you can take a look around there. I put lots of resources on there. I'm starting to put out study guides for AMI students on there. And I am trying to put any sort of free resources that I can put on my locals community. So that's the place you're gonna find things that you can download and use for your own environment. But let's get back to talking about the bells for just a moment and why they're so important. Maria Montessori worked alongside of Anna Macaroni to develop this musical curriculum. And actually, if you present music the way that Montessori wrote these lessons, there's a good chance your students can develop perfect pitch. And so they're really a beautiful, wonderful way to approach music from a sensorial standpoint and really build skills little by little. And I wish I could show you this in person. Unfortunately, that's just not a material that's on my list of things that I am able to afford at this point in time. But I do wanna share this lesson as it is written in my album. And so I am gonna start a series on that very soon in my locals community. And we're just gonna go through all the different lessons on the bells. So I hope you'll join me over on locals where I will be doing more and more videos and hopefully some live streams and also offering study guides to the AMI students who are in training. So I'm gonna do a lot more starting in January with my locals community, trying to boost support there and get people involved there and do more mentorship and more education about Montessori lesson plans over on Locals. So if you're interested in this lesson, and actually it's several lessons, but if you're interested in this and learning more about this, please go over to my Locals community, sign up there, subscribe. I don't currently have a membership fee, so this will all be free if you sign up on Locals and you'll be able to go through this experience with me. I'm still building my Locals community. I'm still figuring out how it works. So luckily you're gonna get in for free when I'm still figuring this all out and that will be hopefully very beneficial for some of you out there. So if you're excited about learning about the bells and musical theory, join me over on Locals and I will see you over there. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe over here on YouTube, and I will see you in the next video.